Well, good morning. It is, what is today? Today's Sunday, Lord's Day. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful day. I'm wearing my goofy hat because I kind of like it. But I don't actually need it because 68 degrees in here right now. And it'll probably be even nicer once we turn on the Mitsubishi electric mini split. I don't even have it on right now because this is one of those really weird weekends in December that it's gorgeous. So we don't need it. Meanwhile, let's soothe ourselves a cup. Make ourselves a little coffee. If I can see how they can hang this off here without going to the side. There we go. Let's see. Yeah. Is that going to work? Yeah, it probably work. Kind of like that. All right. So, so this morning, uh, I think the guys are still asleep. And I kind of slept in a little bit myself. I didn't get up until about 6.30. Time to make a cup of coffee. And while I'm making the coffee, I'm going to discuss energy management. Why? <laughs> I'll tell you why. You know, we're hearing a lot about get on electric and get off of fossil fuels. And, and you couldn't have a better place than right here to kind of test that theory. Well, what do I mean by that? The tower itself is powered by solar. Right now, there's not much solar going on. You look outside, I'll show you in a second. We'll go up top. If you look outside, you'll see that there's a lot of clouds. That means not a lot of sunshine and not a lot of sunshine means that not a lot of juice now wind is another thing you could use that but right now we don't even have a lot of wind so here's what i'm talking about kind of dreary outside pay attention there will be a quiz and when you are using something that uses electricity, you don't even think about it. You know not to leave it on, like this diving flashlight. So if I turn this on, I don't, when I'm done, just set it down and walk away. But all of us will walk out of a room and leave the lights on. That's what I mean by energy management, turning off the lights. Something as simple as that can make a huge difference in how much energy we all use. Out here, if I use too much, we literally run out. Batteries get empty, and I have to fire up a generator, then I'm using fuel, which is what I want to avoid. I only want to use fuel when I have to use fuel. I'm not going to do any welding with sunlight, but I may be able to do some welding with a little bit of fuel, and then turn on the lights, with a little sunlight. See what I mean? So, so what I'm saying by all that is if you want to stay warm and comfortable, you can actually run the Mitsubishi electric mini splits off of sunlight for a limited amount of time because the battery bank that we have is not that huge. I bet you don't have a huge battery bank in your house either. And I will use a little fuel for that, but thank God I'm going to have the most efficient, best system out there as far as actually doing it for the least amount of power. And it's all about power. The power that does things like keep the hatcher fridge going. So, got my coffee. I need to get a little bit of milk out of the hatcher fridge. Got some fish thawing out for tonight. That we caught out here a while back. Like this fridge, really efficient. Keeps everything in really good shape for us. Keeps it nice and cold. So when volunteers come out here, or eco-tourists to help us out, you have a nice, cool drink, grab yourself a nice cold Coke, etc. You get the point? Now that's an awful lot of information considering I haven't even tried this coffee yet. So let's get a little taste of this in here. And then I'm gonna go up top with my cool hat. I like my bomber hat. I'll put a link in the put a link down below you can get a bomber hat too. It's just good. Some juice good coffee. Hmm. Alright. 
going up top. See all the kids, they already stopped watching a long time ago. It's only us mature adults that have stayed on this long. Let's go see what's going on out top. Hmm. Meanwhile, turn off, turn off. Save that energy, right? It is a lovely 68 degrees inside, only six knots of wind, and I think I see the beginnings of a little bit of sunlight. All quiet in the tower. That's that's because we're running off of solar. Did a dive yesterday. Just went down on the dive chair. Got the scuba gear soaking. I think it's about time to change out old glory. It is uh, a little frayed on the edge. And I don't like that. I'm proud to be American, so. Oh yeah, it's nice out. Look at that. How beautiful. What of a beautiful morning up on the helipad. Hmm. Just gently flapping in the breeze. I already saw one boat come out earlier. He's down below us. I think he's getting some bait fish. A rather small boat, but it's a very calm day. All is quiet. Beautiful colors in the sky. Looking good. How gorgeous is that? All right, back to work. Y'all have a great day. I hear people talking downstairs in the boat. When it's really calm, you can hear people talking from a long ways off, sharing their conversations with us that I don't think they expected us to hear. Just saying. If you do come out here by boat, please let us know. We could always use help carrying out a little bit of supplies. Nothing too extreme for your boat. Won't scratch it up. Don't think we'll scratch it up. Would be good to have you out. If you'd like to exchange things, like come on up on the tower for a little bit, or if you carry out a significant amount, come on up and stay for the night. Oh, that's good coffee. Have a great day.